Hey, this is Ryan from Web Eminence. In this video, I'm answering one of the most common questions I get when I'm talking to potential website clients who want to redesign an old website. And the issue typically is they have a domain name that's been active for years, sometimes several years, and they want to redesign their old website, but they're not sure who designed it or more importantly, where the domain is hosted and managed. So the good news about this is there are some free tools you can use to access the public info on a domain. The bad news is if someone else has control of the domain and you can't contact that person or they won't give you the rights to the domain, you might be stuck and need to purchase a new domain to redesign your website. But in most cases, and hopefully, you'll be able to recover access to your old domain and use that to redesign your website and keep all the authority that you've built up with that domain name that's been around for years. So this company, Liverpool Cardian, actually called me yesterday. Uh, same thing I just described. They want to redesign this old website, but he wasn't sure, at least the person who called me wasn't sure uh, who had control of this domain name. So whenever I hear this on the phone, and like I said, I hear it often when people want to redesign the site, but I immediately start uh, typing in the domain in a few different tools that I use. The first one is LeafDNS, and you can use this for free. It is LeafDNS.com, and this is going to look up the name server information on a domain. So I put in their domain name and click go. It tells me the name servers, so right away I can see that this domain and this website is probably hosted, it looks like it is, hosted at lunarpages.com. At least the DNS is hosted there. And DNS stands for Domain Name Server or Domain Name Service and basically tells where everything points for a specific domain uh, and it routes email to a certain server and the website to a different server. So you can get that information on this page. So the DNS is hosted, the name servers are hosted at lunarpages.com which is a popular hosting company and website builder, I believe. Uh, down below you'll see MX records and this will tell you where the email is hosted. So it appears to also be hosted at Lunar Pages. And again, that's the email accounts for this domain. It could be hosted somewhere else. So if I were to show you a different uh, test, for example, my domain, I have um, the name servers at Cloudflare but my email is hosted at Google. So you'll see the google.com domains here under MX records. So going back to that other Liverpool domain, at the bottom here, it shows you the website records and the A record here where it says type A shows me where the website is pointing. And in most cases, this is gonna point back to uh, the parent name server and that's what's happening in this case. So the website is hosted at Lunar Pages. So basically you can use LeafDNS to figure out where the domain uh, name servers are hosted and that's gonna give you a clue as to how you can recover uh, the domain name or access to the domain name or the hosting account. The next thing I look for is the who is information and this is basically the public record information for a domain. And what you need to do is search the who is database and lots of registrars can provide access to this. GoDaddy is the one I use. So you go to godaddy.com slash who is, and I can just put the domain name in here, click search. It's gonna ask me to confirm that I'm not a robot. And then it's gonna display the public information for this domain. So there's some useful info in here typically. Uh, first of all, the registrar URL. So it tells you where this domain is registered. So this one is with a registrar called Two Cows Domains. Some of these companies are resellers for other domain sellers. Um, but since this domain is registered here, you can try to log in or recover your login for their account. Here they're telling you to put your domain in in order to find a provider since they're basically a reseller. You can also find the registrant name, which is public info. So this one actually has an individual who registered the domain name. Then you can figure out if it was an old web designer who did it for you, or maybe a business partner, or maybe your name is on the registration registrant name. Then you know that you registered it. You can also see when it was created. You can usually see the expiration date that's um, in the future here. This one is November of 2018. 
And it does show the name servers here as well, lunarpages.com. So unfortunately, this information is not always public. Uh, some people pay for privacy. So if I were to search for my domain name in the Whois database, you would see it is registered at GoDaddy, but my name is not listed because I paid for privacy. So under registrant name, it just says registration private and it has proxy information. Um, so you might find this when searching for your domain and that means it's private and unfortunately you're not gonna be able to recover uh, where that uh, domain is. You can see the name servers, which is still public and you can see the registrar URL. So you, if you saw GoDaddy, for example, you could try to log in and recover your GoDaddy account see if the domain is in there, but that's the, that's the best you can do when the uh, domain information is private. So really what this information tells you is where the domain name is managed, where the website is hosted. It's not gonna get you access to those. You're still gonna need to log into these accounts. In this case, I would need to log in to GoDaddy or this Two Cows Domains, or if I wanted to manage the hosting for this account or this website, I'd need to log into lunarpages.com. So you're at least figuring out where these websites and domains are hosted and managed, but you're still gonna to need to recover the usernames and passwords to log into those accounts. If you do see the public registrant listed, and it's someone you know or someone you worked with or built your website, you can contact that person and try to transfer the domain name. Ask them if they'll transfer the domain to you. In that case, if they agree, you can check out my other video on how to transfer domain names. Usually costs um, 10 to $20 and adds one year to your registration. So check out my other video on that. Another thing that goes along with this video and you should find interesting is my blog post on who owns my website. And this blog post is gonna help you understand the fundamentals of website ownership so that you don't run into this problem of not knowing where your domain name is managed and where your website is hosted so that you lose control of it. So I will link to that blog post and video below this video. Feel free to comment and ask questions below if you run into any trouble uh, as you're going through this process. I hope it helps you figure out where your domain name is and hopefully recover it. We'll see you on the next video.